Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your hard disk or SSD for gaming and performance in Windows. If you guys are suffering from slower hard disk performance, this video is for you guys so make sure to watch it till the end. Also before moving ahead, I would like to tell you that we have rolled new channel memberships so if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, do get the subscription and let me know in the comments down below. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is always checking the health of your disk, if your disk is fine or not. So for that you need to press your windows key and then search for command prompt. Open this thing up and once it opens up you need to search for chkdsk space the letter of your main drive that is C for most of you guys. If it is not you can always open up my files and in here you have to look for the disk which has the windows icon right over on the top. So that is C for me so write that just type in C colon space slash F. What this does is it basically checks if there are any faults or corruption in your C drive. If it is there, it will automatically fix it. Now, just a disclaimer, whenever you are doing this, make sure to close all of the applications and services which are related to your C drive. In that way, you can protect all of those softwares to corrupt and once it is done you have to restart your PC before doing any further steps. Before moving on I would like to introduce you all to Asus Partition Master an all-in-one solution to utilize your disk to maximum level. You can simply download this from the link in the description below and in the application you will find a ton of features. Partition Master allows you to change your disk allocation, disk cloning, partition recovery and so much more. You can migrate your OS, resize and move your disk space, merge or split your disk volumes and so many more functions in here to deep dive. Here I am trying to merge my local disk K back to my other disk so I will simply drag these volumes and add the task to execution and it is done. Partition Master also helps you to perform multiple actions in one click so you can bulk add the actions that you want to perform and simply click on execute and it will start executing it. It also offers you to shut down your PC automatically once everything is done so if it is taking a lot of time you can always leave it running and it will guaranteed shut down your PC whenever it's done. Partition Master also has a ton of features to explore for so you can always download this and use it for yourself. I've been using Partition Master for my own disk management for a very long time so I definitely recommend you guys to go with it. You can always check out Asus Partition Master. It's free to use. You can always download this from the link in the description below. Okay, once it is done, your disk is fine. Now let's move to step number two, that is disk defragmentation. Defragmentation help you to clear out all of the unused data and it frees them up. Also the space between two data will be free and you can reallocate that to use it. So it will optimize your disk usage and for that you need to search for defragment and optimize drives. Now once again for C drive if you have a solid straight drive defragmenting is not an option for you guys and in that case you need to trim your SSD. Trimming is a very similar concept for solid state drive but it does not make your SSD slow. However in HDD you have to defrag to increase the performance but you cannot defrag your SSD so if you have an SSD simply click on optimize and it will start trimming. If you have a hard disk drive you can simply click on analyze and it will start analyzing and then click on optimize to start defragmenting your hard disk drives. Once again, go down to schedule optimization, click on change settings and then make sure to run daily. Once it is done, simply click on cancel. Step number three is some Windows services that will help you optimize your disks. For that, you need to open up settings on your PC and once you are over here, you have to search for storage sense. As it says, storage sense helps you to analyze your storage and clean up temporary and junk files whenever they are created. Once you open it up, it will start analyzing the disk occupation and once it is done, you have to click on storage sense, then click on keep windows running smoothly, then you have to enable automatic user content cleanup, after that you have to copy the exact same settings for configures cleanup schedules and right after that you have to click on run storage sense now. Nextly you have to locate apps. 
once you are here you have to go to offline maps and then you have to disable your offline maps i have already disabled it from the core settings but if it is not you can always disable offline maps right from here next you have to go to privacy and security and once you're over here you have to open up each one of the windows permissions and once you're over here you have to disable everything except this one let windows improve start and search result by tracking app launches you need to keep this thing on personally i like this thing enabled because it helps me to improve what i'm searching every time i don't have to write the full sentence it automatically learns what i generally look up the most however you have to turn every other setting off then you have to do the same to speech turn this thing off then once again disable everything in all of these options next step is disabling startup applications and for that you need to press windows shift and escape all together and that will open up task manager on your windows then you have to click on startup apps and over here you will find a list of all of the applications now you need to look out for the ones that you do not use very frequently and you only want to turn them on whenever you need it so it does not start up with windows and since it won't start up it will reduce your booting time and it will also optimize your disk usage in the long run so i have already disabled all of those applications which i do not generally use right after my pc start i only have left some of them enabled which are really required whenever i boot up the pc and i use them frequently next step is creating a restore point so for that you need to search for create a restore point on your pc i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step you have to look for your local disk c click on create and name it disk just something you can remember it from and click on create i highly recommend you guys not to skip this because in case you want to restore your pc you can always do it in one single click without any data loss lastly we have the disk optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below in case you are finding any issues downloading this pack you can always join my discord server for detailed downloading tutorial or help if possible you can simply open this thing up right after downloading and in here you'll find in three simple folders first one is temp cleanup and it will help you to clean all of your temporary files for that you need to right click and run on temporary files cleanup you got to run this thing as administrator once it opens up simply press any key and it will start deleting all of the useless files from your pc don't worry this is completely safe after that you have to open up the second folder which is registries and in here once again this is how i disabled my offline maps from the registry so you need to disable all of these unnecessary services by simply double clicking and merging these registry files i've already done it so i won't do it again but you have to run all of them to ensure to disable unnecessary services that will improve your disk performance lastly we have the pc optimization in which we have pc optimizer this is optional for you guys if you guys want maximum performance you can always run it if you don't you can always feel free to skip if all of the rest steps helped you out this will not only help you improve your disk performance but it will also fix your network your ram your cpu every single thing in one so that's out for you guys so guys i hope this video helps you out if it does make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button also i have rolled new channel membership as i talked about earlier in the video if you guys felt this video was helpful you can always join my membership to show some love and support towards the content we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out